It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from West Berkshire Brewery and it's a bottle of Maharaja IPA coming in at 5.9% ABV. Ingredients, water, yeast, wheat, malted barley and hops. We'll give you a little description later on in the review, but let's just get it out into a glass and see what we get. Silver bottle cap on this one. A little bit of smoke on the opening. I'd like to thank West Berkshire Brewery for sending me a range of beers for review. Thank you to Adam. I've known Adam for a few years. He used to work at Innocent Gun. Uh, we met in London and I had some beers at the the Guild of Beer Writers do back in 2011 and 2012. Um, so yeah, thank you Adam, thank you West Berkshire Brewery for the beer. What we get in the glass then is a lovely, lovely coloured IPA. It's a really deep amber slash mahogany coloured ale, but it's clear. It's clear as day. Nice carbonation rolling up the glass with a one to two finger slightly off white head. Let's go ahead and get the aroma. And I'm a bit of a sucker for IPAs, I'm going to be honest. When they sent the range to me, uh, they said special edition IPA, Maharaja, obviously Indian. And I thought to myself, yeah, this is going to be the first beer I'm going to review from, from them. Um, so, yeah, it smells great. My inkling was right. What you get up front is a sweet toffee breadiness. But there's something else lurking in the background. And that, and that something else is the hops. It's a mammoth hoppy grapefruity aroma on the back end. But I like almost that balance at the beginning as you're smelling the beer, there's balance. You're getting that sweetness, you're getting that grapefruity aroma, which translates into bitterness when you taste the beer. Yeah, it smells really good. I'm gonna dive in, cheers. Oh yes, stone the crows. Stone the crows, yes, double stone the crows because I knew it was coming. I had to get that first initial stone the crows out to you and then take a pause, enjoy that hoppy bitterness and then come back for the second roaring stone the crows. Yes, this is a bit of a rip roaring beer up front initially got a lot of balance we got a lot of toffee biscuitiness breadiness from the from the malt and then we tipped over into the hop sensation that grapefruity lemony lemon peel lime orange fleshy blood orange flavors and at that point i thought yes we've got a good balance but then it just carried on going over and over and it, it was like the hops were piling on top and I like that, I like that. But whilst I'm talking, that hop sensation has died back down again. It's gone back down a level or two. And that's left the, the breadiness, the biscuitiness, the sweetness to come back a tad too. So. It's like it's like I'm on a on a on a seesaw on my own as a child. I'm at the one end and then I'm walking along to the middle and then I carry on walking and then it tips and then I turn round 
and I walk back and it tips back. It's like that flavour profile of, of a seesaw. It's sweet, it's bitter, it's sweet, it's bitter. And that's a fine art. That's something which, which cannot be understated. It is very important with a beer. So sweetness, breadiness, biscuitiness, pause, boom, there's the hops, big, punching, grabbing your palate, pulling at your throat, making your saliva glands go crazy, so you, you're kind of swallowing, 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 swallowing. And then it goes back to being this lovely, bready, almost burnt toffee. After the hop sensation passes, flavour. It's, it's, it's a lovely, lovely beer. Very nicely done. So what we have then is a, is a beer that has been filtered. It's not bottle conditioned in any way shape or form but that's preference I know friends who like their IPAs to to look like cloudy lemonade and, and I like them too but then again I like pretty beers as well so for me it's all about the taste whether it's cloudy doesn't really matter whether it's really crisp and clear I like that, it makes a difference, but it doesn't really matter, you know, what, what the beer looks like for me. It's all about the flavour. But I know some friends, they just like a clear beer. They like to almost drink with their eyes. It's almost like they're being wrong-footed when they, when they get a cloudy IPA. It's like, especially if you give it to a newbie, somebody who's just getting into beer, you give them this big cloudy IPA, it immediately puts them on the back foot a little bit and they think, what is this? What am I drinking? Whereas, you know, if you're an experienced drinker, then really it's not going to matter to you too much. The beer's kept his head nicely. I believe these guys are in the middle of a big expansion. They're gonna expand the brewery, which is good. Let's hope they continue making this beer. It's very nice. Created by head brewer, Will Tumi, Tommy. And uh, created using in, using an original recipe, always made using rich malts and fruity hops. Brewed strong and hoppy, Maharaja is a stunning example of an IPA. Masses of English hops and three different malts produce a complex flavour and strong citrus aroma. Smooth, deep, golden, beautifully balanced with a crisp, dry finish. Now, I've not mentioned the hops. You do get a whacking bitterness. And if you put... A great amount of hops in any beer you're going to get that great whacking bitterness so this is more of a traditional IPA then rather than a big bold American brash IPA which I love I love there is Maharaja IPA special edition please brew it again West Berkshire Brewery it's a lovely beer. Let's give it a rating. It's very good, very good. You, you've got this far. You've heard what I've had to say about the beer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Real Low Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.